Okay, we're live. This is a special version for Max and Lane. So, number one, I already wrote them side by side because I'm going to use substitution. What that means is y is equal to 5x plus 7. So, over here, so writing y, I'm just going to write 5x plus 7 because that's what y is equal to. So, I'll rewrite this equation. 3x plus, not y, but what y equals, 5x plus 7. 7 equals negative 9, and I'll solve. 3x plus 5x is 8x plus 7 equals negative 9. I'll go minus 7 minus 7. 8x equals negative 16, and you can finish the rest. Divide by 8, divide by 8, and you get an answer. Whatever that x answer is, put that x answer right in there and get the answer for y. And you'll get a point, something, x something y okay number two i like number two number two is easy because it's perfectly lined up if i add straight down the x's are gone 4y plus 1y makes a 5y a 6 plus 1 makes 6 minus 1 is a 5 divide by 5 divide by 5 you'll get the answer for y and then whatever that answer is you're going to plug that in oh i'd probably plug it into this one right here i'd plug it in right there so that i'd go x plus 4 times whatever you get here, put right there, equals 6. Solve for x, and you'll get an answer for some x and some y. Okay, number 3. I like 3 also because of the y's. I can add them straight down. 9x plus 5x equals a 14x, and the y's are gone. Equals, let's see what's at a 28. Okay, divide by 14, divide by 14, so x is equal to whatever 28 is divided by 14. You guys can do that. Um, I'm not going to do the whole test for you. I would probably take whatever that answer is, put it in this one. It looks like it's easier to solve. Whoop, I put it in the wrong spot. My bad. Put it in this one because that's an x. Sorry, don't put it there. So instead of writing a 5x, I'm going to put 5 times whatever answer you get here, right in there, plus 2y equals negative 6. And find the answer. Go sum x and sum y and give me the answer, okay? Number four, here's what I'm doing number four. I'm actually going to multiply this entire equation by two. And the reason I do that is because I get a negative six y right here. So they do make, so if I make that a negative six y, that's a positive six y, they will cancel. So I've got to do a little bit of multiplication first. So I'll rewrite it. So first equation is an x plus six y equals 28. I'll multiply that through and get a four x minus 6y equals negative 38. If I add now, boom, those are gone. I get a 5x equals negative 10. I'll let you finish it from there. Once you get the x value, I'd probably plug it into here. Probably, probably whatever x is. I'd probably put it into that one here. So whatever you get for x, put it in there, and then you get your answer, some x, some y. Hopefully that helps on 4. Um, five, let's see. I know I'm going to start at positive three, right? I'm going to go down two over one, down two over one. I'm going to have a solid line. I'm going to shade. It's greater than, so I'm going to shade. I see greater than. So if you shade greater than, you know hopefully which way to, to go. Six, I'm going to start at one. I'm going to go up one over two, up one over two. Um, dash line, because there's no equal sign. This one's a solid line. Dash line, because there's no equal sign two. That says less than. So I'm going to shade. If it's less than, you got nowhere to shade, okay? 7, that's an x and a y value. Let's see if it works. So if I plug it into the first equation, I'll put my 5 here. I'll go, okay, 5 greater than, I'll put my x here. Negative 1 minus 4 is 5 greater than 5. Yeah, that's true. But does it work for the other one? Okay, that's right. Put my, my 5 is y. So let's see, 5, is that less than 5? Well, it's not less than, but it's equal to. So I think that's false, so that might be no. Um, do the same thing on 8. That's an x, and that's a y. Plug your 0 here. Plug your negative 2 here, see if it works. For the other one, so I'll take my y is greater than x minus 4, and my y is less than 5. So take my 0, plug it there, negative 2 there. If that's true, great. The second one, put the 0 here, the negative, and just 0 here, and if it's true for both, then it's a yes. Okay, 9. All right, start at negative 2. I'm going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. It's a dash line. Uh, this one, and I'm going to shade. I'm going to shade. 
it's less than so which way do you shade if it's less than so about this line uh, 9 start at negative 4 that's right there I'm gonna go up 2 over 1 up 2 over 1 up 2 over 1 it's gonna look something like that um, this one says greater than so I'm gonna again I'm gonna shade if it's greater than I'm shade somewhere and where the two overlap you make that darker than all the rest okay then number 10 okay here's how I'm gonna do number 10 so if I notice something when I right off the bat if I multiply this second equation by 2 okay I'm gonna do that because I just see something that becomes a 2x 2y and 6 I think they're the same line so they would intersect everywhere um, 11 if I do 11 by substitution I wrote them side by side because I put this in for y right in there so instead of writing y let's write negative x plus 3 so I'm gonna go okay 2x plus 2 and not I'm not gonna write y but I'm gonna write y is equal to negative x plus 3 equals 4 I'm going to get a 2x. I'm going to get a minus 2x plus 6 equals 4. Uh-oh. 2x minus 2x, and I get 6 equals 4. What? 6 doesn't equal 4? That's got to be a bad answer. Okay, 12. Here's 12, okay? Let's think about it. y equals mx plus b. Okay, so this line is up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1 x, and it goes through at negative 1. Okay, if I look at this line, it seems to be under the line, so it's got to probably be less than that line. So you can finish that up. This line, same thing, starts at 2 and goes up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Seems to be above this line, so what symbol would you use for that one? So you're going to get two different answers, one there for that line and one there for that one. Don't forget the less than or greater than, okay? 12, okay, 13... I'm just going to solve. I'm going to go plus x plus x. I got a 3x equals 3, and you can finish from there. 14, because the absolute value. I got a 3x minus 4 equals x, and don't forget absolute value, a 3x minus 4 equals a negative x. So I'm going to get two answers. Um, I'll probably go minus x minus x, plus 4 plus 4, plus x. So this is going to be a plus x plus x, and then I'll plus 4 plus 4, okay? I'll let you guys finish that. So we're getting two answers here on 14. 15, here's how it works. I'm going to buy a blanket. I'm going to buy one blanket. Okay, blankets are X. And I'm going to buy six letters. So I'm going to get a blanket plus six letters. And it's going to cost me $29. Your flat friend is going to get a blanket. Maybe it's Max and Lane. I don't know. Your friend is going to get a blanket. Okay. And it's got to be Max's blanket because, you know, it's three letters, right? plus 3y equals lane, L-A-N-E, well, it's almost six letters. We can put an extra letter in there. Um, plus 3y equals 24.50, okay? Um, I, they're lined up. I would just subtract that equation from that. I'd get the answer for y, y equals something, and then plug that answer back in for x, and you get the cost of the blank, okay? There you go, guys. Good luck. Hopefully that'll work for you.